Don't forget to pick up after your dog. Okay, so here's the entrance to the boardwalk. Interesting, the trail is closed at the end of the boardwalk. I wonder what's going on. Alright, so trail is closed at the end of the boardwalk. Never rode the nine bot on a boardwalk. But I am curious what's going on at the end of the trail, so let's see. Let's see what's going on. This is kind of different, riding a boardwalk. And there are some bad boards on here, so I need to be conscious of them. Lots of creaking going on. Oh boy. That whole board was rotted out. This has me slightly nervous. Okay. must have a lot of rotting boards going on because since last time I've been here there's, like there's a ton of boards that have been replaced on the on the boardwalk and from the sounds of it and from the looks of it there's a ton more that need to be replaced Big turn. okay right here is the end of the trail well it's actually the beginning of the trail normally Trail temporarily closed beyond this point for wildlife resource protection. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder what that's about. Yeah, it looks pretty overgrown. I wonder how long it's been closed. But yeah, this is the trailhead to Bird Rookery Swamp. It's a beautiful place. Kind of is almost prehistoric. So I'm going to turn around. <laughs> I just had the GoPro fly out of my hand as I was changing direction, and it almost fell in the water, but it didn't. Okay, heading back. Supper is almost ready. And it's starting to rain. Awesome! Slimy and slippery. Fun, fun, fun. I'm just gonna go for it. Screw it. Alright. Now this ride is getting interesting. I feel like a uh, frickin' Ian from Speedy Feet. This is the kind of crap that Ian does. Not me. Alright, so the bot will be getting a good water test. This is not recommended, I believe, officially.
I just told Cindy, um, oh. right. I just realized that I was filming my body. Awesome. I just told Cindy that um, it might not be a bad idea if she hopped in the car to come get me, just to keep me from having to ride through more potential uh, rain. It's slowing down, but um, obviously I'm very wet. Bot's wet. Ground's wet. Clothes are wet. Phone's almost out of charge, too. Still on the limestone. Cindy's texting me, but I'm obviously not going to go for my cell phone while I'm cruising along at 12 to 13 miles an hour. That would be foolish. Back on asphalt. Here's the lawn. Cindy just called me on the phone. <coughs> I didn't answer it. She must be confused, but I'm just going to keep on trucking. back. Not surprising. At least it stopped raining. Big puddles. Big puddles. I've seen Ian go through uh, much worse than that, so I'm not concerned. This has definitely been a different sort of ride. Okay, I'm going back up this hill here. No problem. Whoa, severe tilt back there. Need to slow it down. This the um, swamps between two and three miles away. So, yeah, it's still beeping at me. I need to. Oh, that's a, okay. That's a bird. But yeah, I need to slow down a little bit. I've heard um, some people talk about the uh, pedals being slick in the 9 bot one when they get wet, and I've never really ridden is wet before so I can confirm that they do feel a little bit slippery now that they're soaked. But luckily I'm not doing anything that requires a lot of uh, foot movement. Now I have to say before I bought the wheel I saw a lot of 9bot1 videos. And almost all of them are just like guys with selfie sticks shooting the wheel from different angles with the music bed playing. And that's it. It's, it's like nothing but, yeah, it looks cool and everything, but I mean, it's nothing but music and uh, just guys riding. And I think it's much more interesting when you uh, kind of make it a two-way process where you're like communicating what's going on as opposed to just listening to music. I don't know, just, just the way I feel about it. Let me know what you think about it. Okay, made it back to Amaki Road, which means that I am in the home stretch, kind of. I'll probably see Cindy driving around, driving by. She evidently didn't read my text all the way and didn't realize I was at the swamp, and I think she went to the, the school or something like that to find me. So I might beat her home, who knows. Horrible, horrible tilt back. Hey, Def here. <clears throat> I thought I filmed the aftermath of uh, my ride on the GoPro, but I had the, the, the uh, wind protector on it, so I couldn't see that. Evidently, when I fell off the wheel, the um, I, I must have hit the button and I stopped filming just the second that I, I went off the back. So just to recap, what happened was 
I just crossed over Monkey Road that the bot was soaked from the rain and I had just commented how the pedals felt slippery. And what happened was as I, I crossed the Monkey Road I started getting tilt back, meaning I was I was at the, the bot was trying to slow me down. So it started to tip me back and it, it, it was severe tilt back and it got to the point where my feet just slid right off the back of the bot. And I was probably going, I don't know, 13, 14 miles an hour when it happened. So <clears throat> I, uh, I kind of barrel rolled, landed on my shoulder, landed on my right knee. I've been wearing my knee pads every ride for, for you know, outside of the first two rides I've had my knee pads on. I didn't wear them today. So this is what happened to my knees as a result. Actually, you can't really, well, I'm not taking it off. There's a big, huge brush burn under there, another one there. Um, I also got one on my shoulder and my face, I think, yeah. Kind of, I scratched my face somehow as well, too. So yeah, it was a pretty bad wipeout. Um, hit, the uh, hit the shoulder, kind of rolled into the dirt. The um, LED ring came off the, the um, the nine bot, it went down into the, the ditch by the side of the road, but it seems like it's okay. Just have to put the LED ring back in. So I survived it, but it was a, a good lesson that um, you know there there's some real dangers when the pedals get wet. I, I never experienced that before, so I learned. You know, of course, Cindy's freaked out, and uh, but I learned, and uh, I'll be sure to be aware of that if I find myself in that situation again. If the bot is wet, slow down. So. But anyways, I think the, the video was interesting otherwise, but yeah, until next time, definitely an out.